Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you doing today, Wolves? All right. Um, that is a visual change uh, that, again, MP3 will not confirm, uh, but uh, by video, there is a, a very significant change in your setup. I'm sitting at a desk! I've decided to become a professional! And I, not, not a standing desk. Whoever thought that I would ever stand at a desk is a fucking crazy person. Is an absolute weirdo. But I'm at a desk now, and I have a monitor. And I have a, my keyboard and mouse and shit. They're on a desk. How crazy is that? That's pretty crazy. Um, I felt like I felt like doing it in my week off. I felt like it would be a good idea to actually make this kind of change. Well, most streamers aren't couch streamers, so you should probably find your life a little bit easier with like not having to deal deal with like couch based solutions. I I would really hope so. It, it this this getting this set up took a lot more time than I would have expected. Like I worked on it here and there on my on my little break that I took after Elden Ring. But genuinely the hardest part about getting this new streaming and desk set up was uh, packing up the computer and then uh, taking out the video card and wrapping it in bubble wrap and then putting that into a truck and then driving 5,000 kilometers to the west coast. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, how far is that? Well, it's noon. <laughs> right now. O okay. So uh, la last week on the we did the podcast and in my heart and in Paige's heart we were both giggling like idiots because everything outside the frame of this was gone or boxed up during that time and as soon <laughs> as the podcast ended <laughs> within within an hour men showed up to take away our things and put them away and then Paige and I went down and got an RV and then put the dog and the cat into a RV and then we trekked across the Canada on the Trans Canada Highway in order to just barely make it here in time for the delayed podcast, which, if you remember, you didn't ask any questions about why I suddenly needed to delay it until Wednesday. No. I just said, hey, man, I need a podcast. It's so busy. It's the podcast going to be on Wednesday. Can you it happens. that okay? It happens sometimes. It just happens. Wow. So, okay. So, so me and my trucking wife, Paige, have made our wonderful journey across Canada, and I have, I guess, a couple stories to tell. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, I want to tell everybody that my wonderful, beautiful, incredible... Uh, wife peach saliva page why did it incre oh yeah no we got married like ages ago okay okay like way 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 back we just thought it'd be funny to keep it a secret okay okay like we got we got married like way before you did <laughs> we just thought it'd be funny congratulations it was it was a private ceremony with a witness and was like ah fuck it, it okay just, it shh, just did it on the Okay. Wow. Okay. Anyway, but regardless, 
as I don't have a driver's license, it was Paige's uh, responsibility to do the vast majority of the driving. And by vast majority, I mean occasionally the dog or the cat would sit in the front seat of the RV and they put their little paws on the wheel and then we would take cute photos because that's adorable. Uh, but for legal purposes, they obviously didn't drive the car. That would be, uh, that'd be wrong to do. Uh, hey, let me tell you, getting across can Canada's big as fuck. I don't know if you've driven across the whole of the country, minus the Maritimes. This country's long as hell. So I've been told. I've I've only flown out that way once or twice. But no, never driven. So, uh, it's about uh, 60 hours of driving. Just about 10 hours a day, give or take. Holy shit. From Sudbury to Thunder Bay to Portage La Prairie to Medicine Hat to Trail to the greater Vancouver area, which is where I am right now. <laughs> uh, it's, too, it's too bright to see right now because of the sunlight. But uh, there's a tree behind me. There's trees back there. Vancouver. Oh, shit. All right. I'm getting hot. I need to change my my hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me change my hoodie, but go go on, go on. Right, so, the long and short of it, people who have been following me on social media for a while and Paige on social media for a while have been aware that we've been wanting to move out of Quebec for over a year now. Um, Paige calls it the Quebecitus, which she just put it in the chat, which I think is a great name for it. But we wanted to move out of the out of the province for a while, and uh, it kind of accelerated back in October, November. Uh, if, uh, if you remember the the main characters of Quebec Twitter shenanigans, that was just wonderful. Uh, so we've been planning this for a long bit. Uh, went, got a new house. In the Vancouver area, sold the old house in the Montreal. Uh, currently, this place is temporary. We're subletting from a friend of Paige's who lives out here because the people who wanted the old place wanted it now, and the people with the new place can't get out in the time period. So we're going to be hanging out here for a bit and then moving to the, the proper house in a few months. Um, but yeah, we figured, you know, I'm, I'm going to assume you're going to say why Vancouver. It's nice out here. Mm -hmm. No, it's I, real I, nice I, out here. I, I, I would assume, I mean, you, I've heard much, much, much nice things about BC, um, and the weather and the, you know, general, um, yeah, the, the general pleasantness uh depending on where you are but uh that yeah that i'm let's i'm gonna call that the ultimate bit <laughs> yeah I, we we've been, that we, is we the final been, bit we, we have been like laughing behind our eyes like maniacs and just like rolling around on the floor losing it like just nobody knows <laughs> my parents know or knew my uh, Paige's parents knew and uh, the movers knew and like maybe three other people that had to know knew like a friend of mine who helped me with moving uh, getting some boxes and do, that's it uh, do you uh, just I mean out of curiosity do you have any like fam out that way or any uh no, everybody in my family, I have a pretty small family, all things considered, uh, and they're all either uh, dead or in Quebec. 
So the okay. dead one. Oh no, I, I have living family in Ontario, but no, I don't have any relations out here. We we have some friends out here. Okay. And I like. I mean, I feel like nowadays everybody has friends pretty much everywhere. But uh, but no, no family relations. But if I need to see them, I'll just I'll just hop on a train or hop on a plane back over to Montreal. Okay. Uh, By the way, to... Wooly, that's this is. The last time you saw me will not be the last time you see me. I will still be visiting family in Montreal semi regularly. So if you want to hang out or uh, collaborate or work on something, you're going to be passing uh, through. Feel feel free. I'll let you know when I'm on my way. Okay. Can you hold on a second? Hey there. So, uh, uh, they're in Vancouver. <laughs> it just this, over the last week that we it just went down, and uh, we're learning. We're learning live. Like, we're learning hot. Is it they're 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 nope. New setup, <laughs> new place, new camera, and I was like, "Oh, you moved the camera," and it's like, "Oh yeah, they moved the camera oh, all man. the way across the country." So you guys at home will never know how fun it was to tell Wooly how I moved my office to a different room. Yeah, sorry, you were going. Uh, yeah, w say sorry, say. Congratulations, it looks like a beautiful place, Vancouver. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, uh, she says Vancouver looks like a beautiful place, congratulations. It is beautiful, <laughs> I took my, my fat dog on a walk into a little forest today. <laughs> And he's like, well, you didn't, you didn't, he's, he's like, you didn't ask any questions when I asked to move the podcast to Wednesday. And I was like, no, nah, it happens. Sometimes we move the, you know, we got to delay the, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's, construction, other sometimes it's construction, other times it's other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. The ultimate so, bit. All right. So just, I, I, I'm, have I'm a, I have just a. Just giving you the instant heads up <laughs> as the news is kind of relevant. Hot off the presses. Yes. Yes. So I have, a, I have a lot to say, obviously. Also, I have, no, Maddie. Dad, now is not a good time to call me. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. Now is a really bad time to call. Yeah, yeah. The, the dad's calling? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, okay, so I, so I have a lot to say. Make your meal. Just, just, uh, just, just dropping that info off. Okay. All right. All right.